Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go! Hello, I'm Lynetta. And I'm Patrick. And we are co-founders of Vertical, Vertical Connections, Connections Inc. Once we learned we could leave our jobs and work for ourselves, it was game on. on. Right? Feelings of euphoria, fear, disbelief led us to prayer and family discussions. Which led then to choices. Mm. And those choices then made us make a decision. And when you make a decision, what do you do? You are cutting out distractions. Bye-bye. Yep. Mm -hmm. So for us, the euphoria was like, wow, all right, we are going to do this and we are going to have an awesome time doing it. Right? Disbelief. Oh my goodness. Are we really doing this? Are we ready for this? Can we do this? Mm. Then, of course, crept in fear. <laughs> and we had that choice to either fear everything and run. Mm -hmm. Or fight everything and rise. Oh, right and we just had that breaking out of our comfort zone feeling that was really uneasy. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. But after prayer, we set out to gain knowledge. Mm. And our knowledge was a collection of truths. Mm -hmm. Not of what someone else told us we could or could not do, but based on the truths of facts that we gained and collected. Right. And it was just so important that we took the time. It was hard to believe that we actually spent as much time as we did, but and people wouldn't believe that we couldn't give anybody an answer because we were thinking everything through yes. and making those decisions. But then it led us to Proverbs 3, 5. Where it says for us to trust in the Lord with all of our hearts and lean not to our own understanding, but in all of our ways to acknowledge him and he will direct our path. So it was so important to make sure that we had that trust because so many people would come up and I know that I would just say, we're trusting in God. Mm -hmm. We firmly believe that what we're doing is the right thing and that we're going forward with this. Yes. So after it was posted onto the school board, Minutes. Well, wait a minute. Back up a little bit. Okay. All right. So as we were thinking about this, we got home and we pulled up our computers. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And we wrote our, our little um, resignation that? letter of resignation. Mm -hmm. So and then after we wrote it, he read mine. I read his. And we said, we ready? Yes. Together, we, we pushed push the back. submit. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So yes. At the same time. And yeah. it was so cool. It felt good because it was just added to the whole story of being able to leave the school district, do this together, because yes. part of our discussion did lead to, are you going to continue working? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Am I going to continue working? And it just made sense that we both did this together, full heartedly, full fledged, and we just went on from there. Absolutely. Friends continue to ask friends and People that we didn't even know because they read from the uh, Council Plus <laughs> readout, Board of Minutes. Are you guys serious? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we had people that we wouldn't have talked to the entire school year <laughs> all of a sudden coming up. And if you know anything about schools, the, the teacher's lounge is a nest for gossip. Yes. And so if you're the person that gets to deliver that, oh, that just makes you the center of attention. Are you guys old enough? Are you going to do it at the same time? Yes and yes. <laughs> Felt so good to be able to break out of that tradition of the rule of 88. Yes, because there's so many assumptions. They would always have to ask, how old are you? How long have you been working? Does the rule of 88 really work for you? Because we know that it takes for the rule of 88 to retire from a school district. They take the number of years you've been working mm. plus your age to get to 88. And once you have that magical number, you get to retire. Ooh. Not <laughs> benefits. our case at all. <laughs> yes. Most, you know, when you get to a point where you're going to work and you're just doing it to meet obligations mm. and you're not enjoying what you're right. doing anymore, it's time. Because you're yes. not making it any fun for others and you're not having a good time yourself. And life is no. too short to play those games. Isn't that the truth? 
So we went from a point of realizing that we could do this to actually recognizing it once we went to Bob Evnan in the state office in Lincoln, Nebraska, got our EIN numbers, formed our C corporation. Yes. It then became reality. Business owners. Yes, entrepreneurs. Absolutely. And other questions that were asked is like I've been teaching, I was teaching for 23 years, and they thought that's all you know how to do. You can't do anything else. There's this is weird. Why are you doing this? You're a teacher. <laughs> what else are you do you think you're gonna do? Right? And so they, they really did. They said everyone has struggled and continues to struggle and ask. Yes, a lot of assumptions were made as if we truly didn't think this through. Yes. So we just thought that we wanted to end this with Hebrews 11, 1, because truly where we are at today is relies on that. And that is now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. And we do. We have faith. God has carried us through to this point. We work together. Yes. <laughs> we pray together. And it is just a feeling that we have definitely made the right choice. Opportunities that we never thought could be are happening. And we are so pleased to be able to help our family and other families to see greater opportunities yes. as well. Because that was the whole mission for Vertical Connections was just to connect with other families mm -hmm. so we could then grow our family's lineage yes. with others' family's lineage and create that legacy yes. and generational wealth. Absolutely. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Let's, Let's go. go. See you next time. Bye.